This is an instructional video for running the BICOM Biosurveys using the Zyto Elite. Today we're going to be testing the BICOM Biosurvey for traditional Chinese medicine applications, or TCM. We start by opening a client. I'm going to select my test client and click on New Session. From here, we're going to go to Biosurveys. If it's not already open, open the BICOM Optima. And remember that if you have a BICOM 2000, all of your libraries and Biosurvey information is in the BICOM Optima tab as well. If you have the BICOM 2000, you're going to select Biosurveys that have 2000 in the name. So you would select the BICOM 2000 TCM evaluation. We're going to go ahead and run it using the BICOM Optima Biosurvey for TCM evaluation. This evaluates five element imbalance, EAV test points, and meridians for stressors. And then it's going to balance with BICOM basic therapies, meridian therapies, chakra therapies, and activate vitality therapies. And then at the end, you can go ahead and do a manual scan to choose from things like Chinese herbal formulas or homeopathic remedies or items that you may have in your own practice's inventory. As soon as you click on the biosurvey, it will begin. So make sure that your patient's hand is on the hand cradle or if you have the sphere, that the sphere is on your animal patient. It's asking if I want to run this as a hand cradle or in simulated mode. And we are going to run it with the hand cradle in real time. The first part is scanning 35 neutral stressors. This helps to determine the baseline or the range for this patient. And this is actually how fast the program will run. If you want to test out biosurveys in a rapid fashion just to see how they run and what kinds of reports are generated, you can do so if you just select simulated mode instead of the hand cradle. Those will run at about 10 times as fast. So it just scanned through what's called TCM overlay or basic categories of imbalances. Now it's going through the EAV test points. And now we start testing for therapies. It's scanning categories of therapies. So these are the Activate Vitality programs. And as you can see on the left of the progress bar, you'll see a number. And so it's going through individually out of how many are in that category. So there are 40 different Meridian programs. And now blockages programs, there's 41 of those. This lower program bar, or progress bar, shows the steps and where we're at in the biosurvey. So this biosurvey has eight steps, and we're at step six of eight. And now basic therapies. And then the eighth step is what's called the comparative rescan. That takes a bit of time, and then it will generate the report. So right now is the comparative rescan. And what this is doing is evaluating all of those stressors again, but with the BICOM programs as balancers. So it's basically asking the body, what if we ran this program? What effect would it have on the body, on your stress profile? Would it resolve them, or would it make them worse? And 
Okay. So that has finished. And the report that's generated shows your practice information, your client's information, and the test date. The first chart shows a diagram of the stressed meridian EAV test points and five element patterns. And the first one, it shows it in order from most stressed to least stressed. This break point here, the red line, is the range or the baseline for stress. Things under 20, no longer continue, considered stressful. Things over 20, considered a stress for the body, or the body can't really handle much more of it. So it looks like I need to go uh, drink some water, hydrate, because there's deficient moisture. But that's more than just water balance in the body. It can be uh, related to circulation as well and determining where the body is placing the yin reserves and where the deficiencies might be. So we scan down and see in this particular case there aren't too many out of range stressors and that might be also because the baseline range is slightly high right now. And uh, if we go down a little further we'll see the BICOM programs that were helpful in restoring balance. This first set of numbers that are not in bold, these are the deviation ratios. And so these are not the program numbers that you would type into your BICOM. This is showing how these programs actually scored. And so if you remember what I just said about um, the deficient moisture being related to circulation, there is that indication. Circulatory system acute. So it's probably just a distribution of the in fluids or the moisture in the body that is uh, needing addressed. And so, you know, you might think of that if you've already got training in traditional Chinese medicine, but if you don't and you're running some of these TCM applications, uh, it's really very helpful to have the system to point you in that direction rather than just saying, oh, it looks like you're dehydrated, go drink more water. So in this case, it's not related to hydration, it's related to circulation. If we go down further, we'll see actually a table or a diagram of how each BICOM therapy helps to restore the balance into the system. And it tests these in order to see which programs are resolving which stresses. So the basic therapy resolved all but 13. The hyoid bone correction program resolved three more. The circulatory system left six. The immunodeficiencies left two. And as you can see, activate left side of the brain. While it was in there as potentially helpful, it really didn't do much for these last two stressors. It hardly changed the uh, uh, the in fatty inflammation point and not much effect on the phlegm point either. So there might be some additional balancing that needs to be done either with different BICOM programs or with herbal medicine. When you get down to the bottom, you'll see there's a blank field here for additional notes. This is an editable field. So you to edit that, you go to the upper right screen, click on the edit button. Click on the user block for additional notes, double click on it, and then you go over here to the field and you can type in your recommendations or additional notes that you might have for the client. Okay, when you're done typing that in, just click on OK. And this report will be modified to now contain what you just typed in. And we can see that at the bottom. Recommend herbal therapy for the remaining stressors. Okay, so this report can be emailed to the client. It can be printed out for your office records by clicking on the print button up here, email up here. And when you click on email, you can see the client's email come up, a subject, and then in the body of the email you can type in uh, 
some additional things as well. So if you click on send, it'll go ahead and send. This particular client's email is fictitious, so I am not going to send it, but that's how you would send it. Now, since we still have two things out of range, I'm going to go back over to the Elite profile here, and you'll see those two things in the red circles. The rest of the things that came into range are green and inside the circle, and that circle is the baseline or range of 20.86. But if I wanted to go ahead and do a little additional work on these two items, then I would do a manual balance scan. So to do that, you can click on balance scan, and I generally run linear balance scans, but if you're testing through a very large amount of data, you would probably want to do that as a binary scan. But keep in mind that the binary scan will only leave you with one item at the end of the scan, whereas the linear scan will give you a chart that shows how everything scored or, or how the patient tested for it. If I go to the linear balance scan, and let's say I want to take a look at some Chinese herbal remedies. When you click open the All Libraries tab, you can see that the libraries that you have pre-selected will appear here. So you have those to choose from. But I am going to just select the MediHerb library for today, because I do use those. And I'm going to click on All MediHerb Products. When I open that, if I click on the name, you'll see it brings them all up. There's 123 of them. So I'm going to keep all of those in there and move them over. And you might occasionally get this showing up. It is telling you if there's a gender-specific issue. And one of their... Uh, products, Prostico is recommended for males only, and this is a female client that we're testing. You can use it anyway if you wish, or you can skip it. All right, so now all of those are in the table for the balance scan. Make sure your client has their hand on there and click Next. So now we're going through 122 different herbs, one by one. Now, if you don't use all of a certain product line, you only use specific things out of there, you can organize those in your own library and put them into your own inventory and just test through those things. And you can create categories within your own inventory as well. So this way it won't bring up something that you might not have in stock or that you might not generally or routinely recommend or use. But just for sake of demonstration, we're just going to go ahead and test through all of them and see what comes up. I'm always curious when I'm doing these test scans on myself to see what kinds of things I might benefit from. And another more, sometimes more expedient way of testing through things, if you, um, if you know what the associations are, you can create those associations within your library. So, for example, for the phlegm uh, imbalance, if you knew that there were certain products or certain herbs that would be most helpful for that, then you can associate those products with that stressor. So then you can just run the balancers associated with that stressor. So in this case, we look for the highest ranking DR, or the highest score on balancers, and you can uh, choose that item and move it to the balancer table. You can also, if there is a description associated with this, um, you can click on the item or hover your mouse over the item and you can read about it. Not every item has a description associated with it though, so don't be frustrated if you hover over and nothing opens up.
In this case, bilberry looked the best. And I'm going to put that with buclerum in my case. And I'm going to take that back. I'm going to select burdock because even though it's not the highest scoring, it's a complex and it contains a lot of things that look like they might be helpful in the digestive system and uh, circulation. So I'm going to select that one. When you click on next, it's going to appear in the balancer table. So there it is. Okay. Now it's not in the circuit. What does that mean? Well, it means that if you do a rescan, it's not going to test for this item because it's not in the circuit. So you need to make sure that you put it in the circuit. And I'm going to take out of circuit the BICOM programs because we already saw the effect of the BICOM programs. Now I want us to see how those verbs are going to affect the two items that are still out of range. So I have my burdock complex in there. This is the dose that it, it's kind of a default dose it comes with, but you can change that if you wish, or you can test for an optimum dose. So let's say if we wanted to go ahead and do a dose scan, click on the little uh, dosing cup there, and it's going to prepare that item, just the checked ones. So I'm just going to check the burdock complex, prepare it for dosing. And this is just setting the dose parameters. It comes in tablets. There's a minimum and a maximum. And I'm going to click on Next. It's basically going to find out which dose is optimum for this. And it ended up being one tablet three times a day. So it's the same as the uh, recommended dose. Now to rescan, you can come up here to the stressor table. And there's this green circle button which is rescan all out-of-range stressors. If there are no out-of-range stressors remaining, then there's nothing to scan. This will be grayed out. You can rescan stressors with a breakpoint if it's a more complex, um, complex profile. But in this case, there's just two things. So I'm just going to rescan these two things and see what the effect that burdock complex had. And it's pretty darn good. They both came back into range. So the phlegm uh, resolved down to 7.63. And the fatty inflammation came down to 2.59, almost neutral or almost to zero. So that looked like a good choice. So I'm going to go ahead and keep that in the prescription for this patient. If you go back to the reports, the changes that you just made here will not be on that report because this is additional work that you did after the report was generated. So in these kinds of things, you might want to put into a manual report, which, is, which will be showing uh, this additional information in here. I hope this was helpful for you today. If you have any questions about running manual scans or running uh, additional features like potentization or dosing, all of that information is in the biosurvey training and the Zyto Elite training that is available online through Zyto.com. Thank you.